Here we go! Ah! Hey guys, what's up? This is Game of Blake 90, decked out in the Sonic Merc, as always. Because what else is there to expect from me? So, uh, I just got done recording my playthrough for a Sonic Adventure. Last few episodes for it should be going up throughout this week, maybe into the weekend, I don't know. And once that's over and done with, I'm going to be starting up another playthrough for Sonic Colors on the Nintendo Wii. Which has been a highly requested playthrough, especially from those who generously sent me the Nintendo Wii and the copy of Sonic Colors, as they wanted to see me play the game in its entirety. Because it was one I never got to finish, aside from the first level of the game, and that was Tropical Resort. Which is weirdly named, considering it takes place in outer space, but Sonic Plus logic tend to not go so well together. But yeah, the, uh, all that's besides the point. I just got done doing my Sonic Adventure playthrough, and I'm about to go get some food to eat, but before I do, I wanted to muster up what little willpower I had left to record today for a product showcase. Not necessarily unboxing because the product in question I've had for a while now, but it is one that has gotten a lot of comments recently, and eventually I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and show these babies off. And it would be this bad boy right here. Yes, this is a Sonic shoe. Some have said that this is a Yeezy, and it may well be a Yeezy from the design of it. I'm honestly not much of an expert on the differences in shoe designs here and there. I'm not exactly a sneaker head, I'll say that much, but I got surprised with these for my 30th birthday, which happened two weeks ago, and as you have probably guessed, I've never taken these off, except to go to bed or to go outside, because I prefer to wear different shoes when I'm out there among out there among nature because I want to take real good care of these babies like you see the material on this doesn't look like it will last very long unfortunately I think it was custom made too so um I'm not exactly sure what its lifespan will be like but yo look at this look at how clean Sonic looks on this shoe the underside of it looks really nice as well I think it serves as some excellent protective gear for the underside of the shoe looks really good and there's a band on the back of it, like this. Not exactly uh, a lot of distance where you can move the band outward, but I think it further adds to the appeal in this design. Looks really, really cool. And the best part of it is the insole of the shoe. It feels so freaking comfortable. Like, it fits like a glove. And my shoe size is typically like eight and a half. So that's the shoe size I got this for. But the inside of it just makes it feel so that it fits so naturally, like a glove. It is insanely comfortable. So, to anybody who is considering getting footwear like this, I highly recommend it, as long as you get yourself the right shoe size for it, of course. Because not only these babies stylish, they are just mad comfortable. They never ever leave your feet feeling sore. At least it never left my feet feeling sore from the two weeks or so that I've been wearing these. And, yeah. I've got the whole pair right here. I don't just have one shoe. I was actually just wearing these right now, so I, I just had to take them off. And I don't know if I can position them very well in front of this webcam to show them off, but take a look. That's the side of the shoe where Sonic is sporting his trademark grin, giving y'all a peace sign. And the front of it is where I get the feeling that this was custom made. I'm not sure if the material used for it is meant to be the um, endurable type. So I have no idea how long this is going to last, but for the moment it's holding out strong for just two weeks, and hopefully it will stay that way for the months to come. So yeah, that's the front, there are the side. The sides are the exact same by the way, no difference to them. And then there's the back with the band to it. It's my favorite shoe to wear right now. If I give me anything with Sonic's face on it, and I'll jump at the chance to show it off.
I think hands down is my best birthday gift I've had in like a long time. And that's not the end of the line right there, because I have another gift on the way. I talked about it on my social media, but I'm going to neglect to do so here. Because that would probably be best suited for another product showcase video in my opinion. Now once again, I don't know what the brand for this shoe is. I can tell you though, that these were ordered off a website called Zomicara. Z-O-M-I-C-A-R-A dot com. That's where we got these shoes from. However, it was kind of difficult to get these, because, see, these had been ordered on July 3rd, like at the very start of the last month. And they were expected to arrive sometime before my 30th birthday, but they didn't arrive until a week after the fact. And, during the few times we tried to reach out to them for a clarification on when the product was going to arrive, we got absolutely no response at all. So, we were about to give up our hope of getting this, and by we, I mean myself and my family, because they helped order this for me. And then all of a sudden, I just woke up one morning and there was a package in my hands and inside were these babies. I instantly woke up after that because I, I had to wear these. I just, I don't ever want to take these off. Not only do they feel comfortable, but what Sonic fan would not want something like this? So speaking of Zombie Kara, I tried to visit the site again today just to pull up some more details on how these shoes are, but the website is currently unavailable right now, so between that and our inability to get in contact with the seller, something tells me the site may have been struggling to keep itself open. That's my assumption anyway. I hope that's not the case, and that their um, period of unavailability will not last forever. So yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't have all that much information to present about how these shoes are. The best I could do was describe how it felt to wear them from my perspective, which, as I said, they are insanely comfortable. The insole of the shoe is awesome. It caresses your feet just fine to the point where it never ever takes a toll on them. Like, your feet never go sore from wearing them for too long. Although they go sore at all, then it's quite possible that you've had the wrong shoe size, which is usually the case. But in my case, not so much. A couple of my other shoes kind of wore me down and aggravated me. This one, however, feels as natural as the fact that I have arms and legs. So, just one last time, here it is again. If y'all want to soak in the godlike view of these Sonic Yeezys, as they've been called. Again, I'm not an expert on differing brands and shoes, except for Pumas. Those are typically my favorite brand of shoe to wear. I'll say that right now. And this is obviously not a Puma, but it doesn't need to be. Fits, the, fits my feet just fine, gets the job done. Highly recommend it to any Sonic fan considering buying these. Although I'm not sure if Zombie Care will become available again after today's um, downtime. They may or may not, but if they do close down, I don't know where I could recommend to you guys that you go online shopping to find these. And this I hope uh, Zombie Care doesn't go out of sale, because I would not want... Um, I would not want shoes like these to not be sold anymore. So I was lucky to get one of these pairs while they were a deal. Thank goodness. It's just... So hypnotizing to look at. <laughs> Holy crap. So yeah, that is it for today's product showcase video. Albeit short, but these kind of things tend to not last very long for me, so... I guess I'll just have to go where exactly my videos feel like going. I hope y'all enjoyed the shoes, along with the hat and the shirt, and you can rest assured there'll definitely be more Sonic Products showcase videos coming your way, alongside that of my Sonic playthrough series that I have going on. One for Rubble Blast 2, and I'm just finishing up the series I have going on for Sonic Adventure 1, and once that's done, we will be jumping into Sonic Colors. I am so excited about that considering I never finished the game up until recently, but finally I'm going to ease that regret. Shut up Tails, no one's talking to you. That was my phone. And once I finish up with colors, I'll hopefully embark on some other fan game playthroughs. I did kind of put the fan game aspect of this channel on the back burner to finish up Adventure 1, but it won't stay that way for long. So look out for more uploads of Sonic Robo Blast 2, along with other fan game showcases and mod showcases for Sonic Mania, coming whenever my schedule deems it fit for it to be. <laughs> so yeah guys. I'm out of here, gotta get some food to eat because I am hungry and have not eaten anything all day today because I had to finish up my Adventure 1 playthrough, which I hope you all will enjoy once it goes out. Until then, take care, peace, 
blue blur for life.